Well, what are we fixing today? Today is a cold day. It's raining. It's fall. It's awesome. Yay, winter's on the way. Love winter. Well, today we're gonna do something I talked about when I first pulled this wood splitter out. Wood splitter's down here. I think I told you that both the tires blew when I put, I put like 20 pounds of air in them and they blew out the sides because the tire themselves, well, let's go, let's go look. So the tire itself is so rotten that it just blew a hole right out the side here. Uh, there were tubes in them. I looked at these you know, they kind of roll this way, but they don't really. Um, I could cut this off and replace it. You know, don't know. Don't want to do that stuff. Um, this is an old implement tire. I forget what the size is, but it's something weird. Implement duty. Ah. Implement duty. Four dot zero zero by nine, which is just weird. So we're gonna cheat. We're gonna try this crap. I got nothing to lose. I'm at the point where I'm cutting these off, wanting some different uh, screws on here, or throwing it away. So I've seen people do this online, and they say, "Well, if you got a wagon or a trailer." that carries heavy weights and moves around a lot and bounces, probably not a good thing. This is a, I mean, the last time I used this was six years ago. So this is mostly just gonna sit. And when I wanna roll it around, I need to roll it around. So it's like that. So should I always wear gloves. I think I'll go get some gloves because I actually know how bad this gets. Be right back. Well, that's raining a little harder. So, we do this quick. There should be a hole in the side here with a tube blue. I think that's probably it. Let's go for it. Coming out. Let's point it the other way. I'm thinking I should have a drill and drill a hole up here. Poke some in there too. Let's get that. Okay, we're gonna go opposite where I put it in before. Up here. So we can get this in there. Yep. Let's hope that's enough. Wants to be poking out the side here. Oh, I just got some in my hair. That's awesome. Let 
Well, let's just leave this be. I think I'm going to need another can for this one. Well, get some garlic weed, wipe off my fingers. So this one I have a hole here. Let's let's just do let's just do the holes. Put this the hole in here. Let's see what happens. This stuff going in. Yeah, it still looks like there's stuff going in when I squeeze it, so. We'll see. Keep going until it doesn't look like there is any. Oh, now it looks like it's spitting. Okay, I'll see what that does. That sticky mess can go over there. Come out the hole here. Yeah, I see some. Let's put that up. Well, let's put that, well, let's just, just put a different side up. That one looks like it's filled up. It's coming out that hole really good. Probably overfilled that one. But that's okay. This one. Some coming out of this hole where I drilled. And a little bit coming out there. Just in case there's something to it, I'll rotate it a bit. All I really want out of this is these tires to stay up a little bit when I'm uh, trying to roll it around the yard. It's never going to go hauled as a trailer, uh, not on roads anyway. It might be pulled behind the tractor if we're uh, in the yard or in somebody else's yard. So I'm thinking this is really all I want to need for for tires. I did not want to pay $120 a piece plus another 30 bucks for the tube. So $150 a piece to replace these tires. And you can see the big ass blowout here. This is no bueno. This one had the same kind of blowout over here. See all that's coming out? That's a blowout. Uh, and then both of these I had put about 20 pounds of air in and started moving it around the yard and uh, one popped at about five minutes and one popped about a half hour later it just the sidewall tore gave out and uh, the tube popped out and blew so let's check these another day and see how they're looking Oh, 
the rain stopped. Well, I'm back. Somebody's having a fire, it sounds like. And there's a lot of fire trucks making noise. But let's a look at the, what the, we have here. Uh, if we go hit this, guess what? This is going to be just fine. There's a little bit of a, maybe a little bit of a gap there. This is all plenty hard. You can see where it squirted out the edge here. This is the hole where I squirted it in. Here on this one, hole where I squirted it in. And here's, see, you know, if I was smart, I wouldn't have put quite so much in this one. I'd have put more in the other one. But, you know what? That's going to work. That's going to be just fine. For the amount I use these things, that'll be just fine. I likey. Wow. In order to get that in the picture, I got to go way up ahead. That's my video for today. Nice and short. A little bit of fun. And, uh, you know, save myself 250 bucks by spending four bucks on foam instead of 250 bucks on stupid tires that really don't need to be actually tires. Uh, I wouldn't have spent that. I would have cut that off and mounted some old uh, lawnmower tires on there or something. Um, and in that vein, we might be doing that soon to the saw of death. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. Give me a like if you think this was a good one. Or give me a like if you think you're glad it was short. Because I know people think it should be shorter. But I like half hour. That's what I like. This is this is not a half hour. Um, until next time, uh, subscribe. All the good stuff down there. Uh, push the buttons for me. It'd be great. Uh, until next time, don't fret when your tire is dead. Fill it with foam instead. Bye.